for me? Thank you! <laughs> Today's video is gonna be so helpful, you're really gonna like it. So, a lot of times we get grocery store bought flowers for us and they're beautiful, we all love them. You even might get roses from there. Look how beautiful those are. Don't ever underestimate the power of a grocery store flower. So in today's video, to start off, the first thing that I bet you're gonna do when you get handed these flowers is you're gonna do this. You're gonna grab a vase that you already have, you're gonna fill it with water. You're probably, if you know, you should trim the bottom. I add the little packet and I put my flowers in there and that's it. And you're and like, okay, still beautiful. I would trim them down a little, but you know, you get the concept of what I'm saying here. But what if I give you some way better ideas, the stuff that you could do with your store-bought flowers, not only for yourself when you receive them, but say you don't have a lot of money and you wanna give flowers. Let's see, I think these were $12.99 at my local grocery store. They're so pretty, $12.99. Say you need to get mom, grandma, a wedding shower, a baby shower, a hostess gift, something, and you wanna take them flowers and you don't wanna just take them like this. Let me show you ideas of things. I can already see several things just sitting right here in my house that I could do to make these look even better. And they ended up, if you wanted to do this, to give away as a gift, it makes it so pretty. So come on, let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so how about instead of a vase, we use this pretty picture. You've probably heard of this one already, but this is a really great idea. So let's do this one first. So always begin by cutting your flowers at a 45 degree angle. This just helps them to absorb the water and stay fresher longer. Next up, we're gonna add water to this and then something else that might surprise you. Okay, I have my water added to my pitcher and then next, You're like, Leslie, are you doing a little day drinking today? I want you to add a couple drops of vodka and one teaspoon of sugar to your water. And this is gonna help your flowers from wilting for a very long time. I would love for you to leave a comment down below for any other kind of tricks that you guys have to keep your flowers alive longer. I've heard of all kinds of things. I've heard of like, the, well, of course, we all, the, the little packets, adding ice cubes, um, this vodka and sugar trick I've started using, but I would love to hear your ideas, so leave that down below. I'm just gonna give that a good little stir. And add my flowers. Look how much prettier it looks in the pitcher compared to if we just put it in a vase. Definitely prettier in the pitcher. Okay, so maybe the pitcher is too conventional for you and you're like, eh, that's not really out of the ordinary. Okay, this isn't super out of the ordinary and if you were all over Pinterest, you've seen this, but what about using a boot? I got this cool old rustic boot. Wow, it's really rustic. Um, <laughs> what about putting it in this? Or maybe a really cute rain boot if you have one. Do that to decorate. So I'm just gonna move the flowers over to this and see how that looks. Look how adorable that is. I love that. I think I'm gonna put these out on my front porch for right now. So cute. Okay, so what if you're like, Leslie, I don't have a pitcher, I don't have a boot. What else could I use? A bowl, a basic bowl. This is like a big gigantic soup bowl. So let me show you how we're gonna do it in this. Okay, so I have this basic soup bowl here. You're gonna get your scotch tape and you're gonna make a grid across it. It'll take just a few seconds to get this done. This will allow you to set your plants up nice and even in here and not fall to the side. And then do it across this way. So you have your grid and this is going to help hold the flowers up appropriately. And so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna start with probably something bigger in the middle 
I have this big one and oh boy, I'm gonna cut this way down. Okay, so we'll start like that. Keep in mind, I am no florist, that is for sure. This is not my strong point at all. Oh, how pretty is that? Look at that. That's gorgeous. It's so easy to put it in these little grids in here. I love it. What a neat idea. Put your water, your vodka, your sugar down in here. So pretty. Sitting right back up here on my hutch was a pretty little teacup. It says, be kind. This would be a great idea if you don't have a bowl, if you don't have a pitcher, if you don't have a boot. Majority of us have a mug. And you can do the same thing. You can do the grid with it to make them stay standing straight up and not just keep falling over to the side. So let's do the little teacup. Okay, I made a little grid for my little mug. And then you can just decide how you wanna do it same way as you did with the thing. Obviously, it's not gonna hold as much, but, oh, so cute. So adorable, I love it. Okay, since I've been showing you guys all these different ones, I just have all these cut ones now. Did you know that you can just pop the stem off and just let these float around in the water. It could be really pretty. Oh, look at this guy. So it doesn't go to waste. Oh, so pretty. Okay, look at these gorgeous flowers. So pretend your loved one gave you these roses or you wanted to give them to someone. And you have just your ordinary vase and you're like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just put them in there. What if you really wanted to take it to the next level, make it look super springy? I went and I found downstairs, I have this old little vase. It's like a milk jug. And I'm gonna put this inside of that bigger vase. And then I'm gonna take a few of these and put in there and we're gonna put some lemons around it and it's gonna look so pretty. Here, let's show you. So I have this vase. This vase just so happens to fit right perfectly down in there. It's so sunny today, all the sun coming in the door. I hope it's not throwing you guys off, but. So I'm not gonna be able to fit as many roses in there as the whole thing, but that's okay, because I wanna use roses in another spot also. So we have that like that. I happen to have a bag of lemons and I'm just gonna chop them. I do not have Jason's chopping skills, man. He's got massive chopping skills. All right, let's see if these are gonna be big enough or too big. Oh yeah. I think that's gonna work. Okay. I don't think that looks good. Okay. Next, we'll get roses to go in there. That only took about two and a half lemons, so that's great. Okay, I put my vodka in there.
What a nice addition to my spring mantle. If you haven't watched this video, this is a fun one, but look how pretty those look. This held six roses perfectly. I really like that. And those lemons look so fresh and nice. Really like this idea. Okay, you guys are gonna witness me playing here. I have this Bath and Body Works candle and I have those other six roses left. And I'm thinking about cutting them the size of the, of the container. Let's see how this will look. I'm removing all of the stems on it, measuring where it lands. Okay, where it's right. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but this idea just came to me and I thought, you know what? This might be really cute to dress up a candle with flowers that you have left. These are so pretty. And if they're getting kind of like too open, like some of the pieces, just take those off. Make them look better. I love that. Do any of you guys have any fun different ideas? If you do, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to get some like more ideas of things to do with flowers at home. But yeah, I think this is a cool one. So, no, I don't know how it's gonna be when I burn the flower or burn the candle. It's cool as a flower holder. I don't know if I'll light the candle. <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below if you have any other cool ideas. Okay, so I came up here to my office because I'm worried that obviously those flowers are not gonna stay alive around the candle, but that's a really cool um, aesthetic to put for like a certain decor. But if you really want your flowers to last, so here they are, they're all cut. I have a cute idea. Okay, so they sell these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and I just like whitewash painted to just give it a little style. And so I think it'd be super cute to just take any little cup that you have, like a little glass, and you can put them down in there. I'm gonna do three different ones to just like fill it up. And then with the rest of my roses that I have left, so these ones are already cut, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them, I think I'm gonna put them in the middle one. And then in the other two, I still have the pink roses that I haven't used yet. And so I think we'll just do all those over here and then fill this all in and ah! This would be a, such a cute way to give flowers to your mom. Such a cute way. Okay, let me cut these. Don't forget to add your water. So I'm just cutting them short like this. To go in here like this. Oh, that's gonna be really cute. So pretty. Love how the glasses are holding it. This is such a cute idea. This has been such a fun video. I hope this gave you guys some great ideas. Don't forget to leave comments down below on what you use to help keep your flowers alive and different cute ideas of what you use around your house. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye. Right off the bat, I could see setting on my hutch is a really pretty regular vase. No, it's not a vase. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna need a blooper reel. Okay, right off the bat, I could see setting up there on my hutch was a really pretty, <laughs> was a really pretty picture.